Hey everybody, we are back with our second play session or second episode session. I don't I don't know what to really label these as. Uh but second part of our Mortal Shell walkthrough or a playthrough, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh but welcome back. My name's Chris. Uh we've been we had a really really good first uh sesh with uh Mortal Shell. I'm like super amazed. We got 3 out of the 4 shells. We defeated Grisha, which is like this giant beast man who's nearby, like our first base of operations. And we got our first upgrade for our sword, which is crazy. Um, so, so far, so good. And zero deaths, zero deaths. I don't count when you get knocked out of your shell. A death to me is when you're dead and you respawn back over here. So, so far, zero deaths. Um, but yeah, we just beat Grisha and we got an upgrade, which is really cool. The duration of time uh, enemies remain hardened while you are separated from Solomon increases. This is great. That is a great upgrade. Uh, put your enemies off balance with a powerful kick. I'm going to do this one because you basically get like two lives. You can Fate get... It's oh. not ours to defy, only to fulfill. You're chosen as am I, brother. As is the unborn, ordained by the infinite. Perhaps you'll understand one day. Perhaps. In death, I shall find a new purpose. And your purpose, twisted and malevolent as you are, will light the way. Well spoken. Well, well spoken. Uh, this session, I definitely want to try and get our last shell, which is the rogue character, who's pretty cool. Um, but we need to get over there um i think we want to go down this way we need to head to the area with the bats yeah this is the way there's a boy off on my left right if sound if my sound's working right yeah let's get this guy first okay you know what? Whoa! Okay. He does two hits. Get some health back. There we go. Uh, I will say that I think Solomon is by far my favorite my favorite shell um i do like big knight f boy uh only because she's got like a lot a lot of like health and i feel like in these games i do take a lot of a beating or a big beating in this game so i'm like yo the more health the better okay, let's take that boy out who wants a piece of me next? Who's coming in? Oh, he's got like no health left. Oh, fuck you. Let's see if I can get a parry on this boy and get some health back. There we go. That's such a useful thing. We got some roasted rat. And we got a chest here. I don't know if there's any mimics on here. Ooh, untarnished mask and some of the tar. Nice. Let's grab that tar. And we are doing so good. I'm like so impressed. I, I don't know if it's because of the luck of the recording. <laughs> But I kid you not, I, I had such a hard time. And and this area I'm pretty accustomed to. But like I was saying in the previous episode, if you haven't watched it, uh by far my my best experience with this game so far. <laughs> I was like blown away. I was like, how am I doing so good? Cool. We got some more congealed tar. What is that? Let's give that a try. Grants a tiny amount of tar when consumed. Okay, cool. So it's like, it's like a compressed amount of like tar. Tar is like what you use to upgrade yourself. Uh, I'm also going to quickly heal myself with some rotten food. 
two big things I want to do in this session. I want to A, see what that giant frog was all about. If you didn't see it in the last episode, there's this giant creepy looking frog. And I don't know if he's an enemy or a friend. I think he might actually be an NPC. And then I also want to get our final shell. A lot of boys. That's a lot of boys. Two Archerinos. I fucked up my parry. Although I don't have any more resolve. There we go. That's a roasted rat. Why can't I grab the roasted rat? Oh, there's a roasted rat. Okay. I also got more tar, baby. I maxed out. Now I will get uh, like the most amount of tar that I can get. It's weird. All these games have like the same kind of mechanic that it's like, here are some uh, bundled points for you to upgrade your dude. We need to head over this way. So we can go get our final, final shell, which is the rogue character, uh, which the rogue character is fast, uh, and really, really good. It's just, you don't have a whole lot. Okay. There's the bats. So we need to head that way. Hello. Health, please. I'll take that health back. I got to really start using that more often. At least do two. Math me, boy. Nice. More tar. Sweet. We're going to be upgraded before we even know it. The boy up there with an arrow. He's going to shoot at me in a second. Nice miss. You want a you want a piece, man? And a second slam. The bats look so, so cool. Right? Don't those bats look so cool? They're so huge and threatening. Ooh, moonshine. I think this cave entrance, I forget where this leads to. I think that leads to Grisha's lair, which is the big werewolf boy that we fought in the first session episode. I still don't know what to call this, but a, it's a thing that we did. Uh, and I'm surprised we beat Grisha on our first try, <laughs> which not going to lie. It took me like three or four times when I first played. Ow. All right. You're getting parried, dude. I am kicking butt right now. Hey, man. Okay. Didn't really need to do that, but I did it anyway. All right. So she should be in there. Hi. Yes. I like your guys playing. Are you gonna come at me? You gonna be my first victim? Okay. Take your health. Thank you. Cool, we're fully healed.
Cool. All right. Yeah, this is a whole nother area with, uh, I think there's actually like a dungeon in this area, like a place you got to go into and a thing to accomplish. But, uh, our objective here is to get our rogue gal who is going to be in here. And we're going to have to fight a little mini boss in order to get her. But once we get her, we have all the shells. There he is. And it's weird because we fought this, uh, one of these kind of guys earlier. This one's a little bit more difficult. Okay. Okay, I'm poisoned now. Okay, he is kicking my ass. I can't parry him. Get my health. Oh, okay. I keep messing up this parry. There we go. I honestly thought that he was going to fucking kill us. <laughs> I honestly thought that. But uh, surprisingly, we did it. We now have our, our fourth and final shell. Let me go ahead and use this to get some more glimpses because we need those for upgrades. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and get our fourth and final shell here. Uh, the rogue, as I like to call her. Him, her. I... I I think it is she. I'm not 100% certain. I think it's a he. The rogue. Who probably, like, in my opinion, that's that's real cool. The fact that he's a skeleton. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, talk about stamina. This guy has loads and loads of stamina. But obviously the trade-off is that... Uh, Got less health. A lot less health. All right. So we are going to head back. And we will go and find out this, this dude's name. So that way we can start upgrading. And I and I, I, I think I'm going to focus on the scholar, but I'm going to try my best to, to keep it balanced. Oh. Huh. It's just a few boys. Uh, I can't go back, so the way that we're going. What is this area? I don't know this area. All right, if shit gets rough, then we're gonna we're gonna turn around. Where is this? I don't even know where I am now. Who wants me next? Who wants the fight? Wow. Whoa. Uh, where am I? <laughs> what area? Do you see what I mean, though? Like th this, this game. Quenching acid? What is that? Like, there's so much I don't know in this game, but I think this is another area that I just completely 
didn't see or didn't go. Let's let's check this out since we're here already. Who wants to fight me first? Oh. Like a cave base? Hey dude. Wanna play? Oh shit. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of stamina. I might actually use this guy. I got knocked the fuck out of my shell. Oh my god, I almost died. Still no death. Here's some boys behind there. You boys look different. my first glimpse for this character. Huh. What is up here? I've never been back here before, though. Oh. Just one boy? this lead i gotta know now i know we're, we're kind of beating off the oh what is this place i guess we'll check this out a baguette <laughs> baguette yay i didn't know there was baguettes in the game who knew who knew there were baguettes <laughs> oh uh okay this is a place. Hey, Gail. You've kept me waiting, Thalving. <laughs> Do not worry. It is only a jest. Okay. <laughs> this path ahead is littered with monuments to suffering. Mm hmm. Thought I might lighten the mood. Okay. Not that I've ever had much talent for humor. I once knew a man who took the sacrament of ashes. He laughed all the time. Now I'm rambling like an old crone. You're here for another sip, aren't you? Yes, please. I would like the sip so we can discover the name. The name of our rogue is... Teal, the Acolyte. I told the truth more terrifying. Those who glimpse it behold no monster other than an utter lack of meaning. Mm. The visage of a razor-thin line between existence and non-existence. And nothing in between. A little dramatic, but hey, you're cool. I'm cool with this. Dope. Can we, can we talk again? Yes. Taste the truth. Yes, please. Give me the truth. Give me that truth. What is this? Ooh. Oh. I can add acid to my blade. Yes. Uh, damage increased. Hell fucking yeah. All right. So so here here is a thing. So here so now I now I understand a little bit better because I was only playing a little bit off stream. But 
so there's 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 three other weapons so there must be three areas which makes sense i've only been able to get one of the weapons because you need to do a challenge in order to get the weapon so this is the one of the weapons that we can get it looks like a mace uh but we got to do this challenge so i guess i guess since we're here let's try it let's see what happens This, this part is a little, a little rough. Ugh. Spider. Uh. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, God. We basically die. All right, let's see what this... He's going to be using that weapon. The stamina choice was good. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, this guy is tough. Okay, that was our uh that was our first death. I don't know if we lose souls or our tar in this area. I don't know if we do or not. <laughs> but do I count that as a death? I feel like since it's a challenge, do we do we count that? I think I can beat him. Oh, we lose all of our souls. God damn it. Oh, I can grab mine back, though. No. I want to try this. Gotta really use my hit and run tactics here. No, oh no, 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 oh. Back away. Okay. I can get him at least down to half health. Ah, oh, damn it. He might be too hard to beat. Hit me. Back away. That mace does so much damage. Oh. Hit me. Let him waste it. No! Oh, man, that was so close that time. Ah. Uh. Okay. What? That was cheap. That was a cheap hit. Oh, okay. I didn't have my, my Harden. Hit me.
Hit me. Okay, we're close, we're close, we're close. No! Oh, so close! Oh god, okay. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, I got hit at once, that's fine. Whoa, okay. Uh dodging. Got him with that hit. He's almost dead. Did it. Yes. <sighs> yeah, baby. Oh, man. Yo, that worm fish is coming for you, boy. Or it's coming for both of us. I can't tell. Oh, that for me. Never mind. <laughs> hey, only three tries. You tell me in the comments if I should count those deaths as deaths. There's a guy on the right over there. Wow. These boys don't don't respect the repose. <sighs> Who is that boy? And and what do you want? That is a knight. Uh, excuse me. Let me back out. Okay, that sucks. Get me back up, get me back up, get me back up. Inside my shell. I feel like this is a perfect place to, to end off. We'll have to redo this beginning part and kill these enemies again. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank thank you guys for guys, gals, and pals for watching the second episode session of uh, Mortal Shell. Uh, I'm loving this. I hope you you all are loving this as well. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear some feedback. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks or anything to offer. If you do want to see me play games live, I do stream on Twitch uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sundays. The link is down below. Insert banner thing here and everything. Uh, so definitely check me out there. I am playing a Souls game on stream on Thursdays. It's uh, Neo 2, which has been so much fun and is a really, really good Souls game. Um, so if you are into Souls stuff and you want to see more Souls gameplay, check me out on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and yeah, again, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Comments, like button, hit the subscribe thing. Yeah, I'm not new to doing this at all. <laughs> but thank you for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.